Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make a very, very simple pasta. You're going to need one cup of all-purpose flour. This is 150 grams. Three tablespoons of water. That's equal to 45 milliliters or 45 grams. A half a teaspoon of salt. That's two and a half milliliters or three grams. And our last ingredient, one egg. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. To make this really simple, I'm gonna be mixing all the ingredients directly in my KitchenAid bowl. And if you've never made pasta before, you're gonna be amazed how easy this is. Grab all of your flour, just get it all in there. All of your water. That salt. And your egg. And that's it. So I'm just gonna set up my stand mixer. I'll be back in one second. So I just moved my camera a little bit so that you can see right into the bowl. I'm gonna get my little paddle. I wanna use my paddle attachment for this recipe. I'll bring my bowl up. And now we're just gonna simply mix on speed number one. And I'm just gonna let this go. And we'll just watch as it all starts coming together. So I'm not going to turn off the camera so you can see the whole process. I just want it to go a little bit more. That looks good. So we'll just check it. It feels good. I'm just going to let it go for another second. Perfect. And that's it. So we'll just remove it. Get my machine out of the way. Pull it all out. You can see the bowl is relatively clean. Now we'll just get all of this off. And you can also do this the old fashioned way. You can put your dry ingredients down on the countertop, make a little well in the middle, put your egg in and then break the egg and then start incorporating all of the ingredients together. And that's how they did it years before machines like the KitchenAid, you know, were even a thought. So that's good. So I think I'm gonna just zoom in a little bit so you can see this a little bit better. Okay, I've just zoomed in. You can see we've got a nice little yellow tint going on and that's because of the egg yolk that was in our recipe. And at this point, you can just knead it a little bit. And I don't wanna use any flour on this. I don't wanna make this dough any drier than it is. So all I'm doing here is just kneading it a little bit and that's good like that. And at this point we need our dough to rest so I'm going to wrap this in plastic wrap and then we're going to pop it in the fridge for a couple of hours. So I'll grab my plastic wrap, we'll just get it on there and now we want to pop that into the fridge just to let it relax. If we didn't put our dough in the fridge to relax and we started trying to roll this out right away the dough would actually start contracting and that's not what I want. I want the dough to be really, really relaxed when I roll it out later on. So this is a few hours later and my dough has nicely relaxed. We'll just open it up here. And I'm gonna get a little bit of flour. This is just all-purpose flour. Lightly dust it. Grab a bench scraper. I'm just gonna cut that in half. And at this point, if you were doing this by hand, you could just take this, roll it right out really, really thin and make whatever type of pasta that you like. A really fun and easy one is to take this dough and roll it out really thinly and then make little raviolis out of it. But for today's video, instead of rolling this out by hand, I'm gonna be using my little pasta attachment on my KitchenAid. I'll set that up and I'll come back in one second. So I have my KitchenAid mixer ready to go. I'm going to grab my little attachment. This just simply slides into the top. I'm going to turn this little fastening bolt, just lock that in, and we are ready to go. And to start off, I have my roller attachment set to the widest setting. I'm just going to grab a little bit of my dough. I'm going to start my machine just at speed number one. 
and I'm not sure if the camera can pick this up, but the gear system in here, it's turning the two little wheels or rollers that are here. Then I'm just gonna simply take my dough and you just feed it through and you can see it coming out here. I can just roll it or rub it in a little bit more flour and I'll roll it through again at the same setting. Just like that. And you always want to keep your pasta well floured so that it doesn't stick in your machine. And then what I'm going to do is, so it's at number one here. Now to make it a little bit thinner, I'm just going to go to number two. I'll start the machine again. And right through. So every time you change that setting, your pasta is getting thinner and thinner. That's good. It's all prep. It's all personal preference if you want to pass it through the machine one or two times at the same setting, it doesn't matter. There we have it. And maybe I'll go one more. Because right now it's getting pretty thin. What are we at here? So I'll go number three. Just want to have a little bit of flour. Make sure it doesn't stick. Here we go. And look at this really, really nice pasta now. And I could actually go a little bit thinner if I wished, so I'll do one more. It all depends on your personal preference. Always make sure that you do have a little bit of flour on it. I'm just taking, just getting a little bit of flour. It's good. And now we'll go through one last time. And there we have it. You can see how long this is. So let me just change my camera angle just to show you this a little bit better. So you can see just using a half of that dough that we made, how much pasta you get. I'm just going to measure this for fun. We're talking about 21 inches. You know, and this doesn't really matter. It's about 5 inches wide right there. So at this point, you can make some really nice ravioli with this or you could cut them into thin lines. And if you don't have a machine to do that, you can do it by hand by using a pizza wheel or a knife and you're gonna to wanna to use a cutting board to do that. I'm gonna use a mixer attachment for my KitchenAid to do that. So I'm gonna set up for that and I'll come back and show you. The attachment that I'm gonna to use today is for fettuccine noodles and that's this one here. This one here is to make spaghetti which is much, much thinner. So I've got my KitchenAid attachment ready to go. I'm just going to get a little bit of flour down. There are no adjustments on this, so you want to make sure that your pasta is well floured because you don't want it getting stuck in the machine. So just make sure it's all covered. And if you're worried about getting too much flour on your pasta, you can use a little pastry brush to take off the excess. I think that looks good. Feels good. I'm going to turn on the machine. Speed number one. And we're just going to slowly start feeding this into the machine. And there we have it. Magic. Here we have our fresh pasta and if you're ready to use this right away you're going to get your water boiling lots of salt and then just pop it right in but look at that look at that nice amount of fresh pasta when you look at the low cost of ingredients that we used in our recipe 
versus the high cost of fresh pasta in your grocery store, you'll want to start using this recipe all the time. So I guess what I'm going to do to finish off, I'm just going to roll this out again. I'm going to switch this over to the roller. I'm going to roll that out and then I'll come back and I'll just show you, I'll, I'll cut another one of those live just to finish off the recipe. Lock that in, get our machine going. And there we have it. Fresh pasta. If you want, you can just get a little bit of flour on there. If you're not going to be using them right away, you just want to coat those with the flour so that they don't stick. And then right into your salted boiling water. So there we have it. So that's it for this really fast video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish. I really do appreciate that. That's it, and I'll see you next time. One last note before I go, for those who want to know, this one little recipe made 253 grams. So there we have it.